guys, it's Trisha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go through a little bit of our homeschool curriculum for kindergarten. I'm just going to give you guys a little insight into um, my background. I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but I want you guys to know that I feel like I do have a grasp on choosing curriculum and what is out there and what is just a really good homeschool curriculum to use. So my college degree is in elementary education and I have my teaching certificate K through six. And then my master's degree is in curriculum and instruction. So that might help you guys out and be like, wow, she might really know what curriculum is good out there. So when I was choosing our homeschool curriculum, there are so many out there. If you're a homeschool mama, you know how overwhelming it can be. I went to the Teach Them Diligently conference this past summer and I was able to look through a lot of the curriculums and flip through them and really see what I wanted. The problem was I was wanting one specific curriculum where I could do math, science, reading, social studies, all in one thing. But I did not find any that covered all of that in my personal opinion. So we are what's called eclectic homeschoolers and I picked and chose different curriculums for different subjects. Now for kindergarten, a lot of curriculums really only seem to cover math and language arts, and I just wasn't comfortable with that quite. I thought, you know what, my little one, he is capable and he can do a little bit of science. He loves science, and he can learn a little bit of social studies. Not so in depth that um, they need to know every detail, but they can pick some of it up and that's what they cover in the schools too. So I just wanted to pick um, those four subjects and let's get started. So first off, this is not a curriculum, but at the Dollar Tree for handwriting, I just picked up this um, handwriting tablet and it's perfect for kindergartners, first graders, just learning their handwriting. So for math, I had watched a lot of YouTube videos on math curriculum and just wanted to check them all out. I heard a lot of great things about Math UC and I did like that, but the one thing I didn't like was that it focused on just like one specific thing, like addition at the very beginning. I wanted to make sure that if my kids ever had to go to public or private school that they weren't like thrown into it and thought, hey, mommy didn't teach me this, and now they're dealing with new school, new everything, and they don't know the subject matter. So, I went with Horizons Math. It is a really good, just basic math, covers money, time, addition, um, all kinds of things, graphing. So we have just ended the first book. There are two books for the kindergarten curriculum. And we just finished the first one and I have nothing bad to say about it. My son loves math. I think that's gonna be his favorite subject. So thank you, Horizons. We are starting on book two soon. For language arts, we are doing the good and the beautiful. This curriculum is amazing. It hits pretty much everything you need to hit. Now I will say this summer, we started our kindergarten homeschool year in July, I wanted to start early so we could take little breaks when we wanted to. And I chose to start with the Good and the Beautiful Kindergarten um, Primer because that was suggested. Even though my son knew like the letter sounds and all of that kind of stuff for pre-K, I just wanted him to get a good foundation with this curriculum. So we started with that. It was only 30 something lessons and he whizzed through it in a lesson each day. So now we're going through here and I think we're on like lesson, 47, 48, um, there's spelling included with us, there's little stories that incorporate some art in the stories, and I just, I love it. Now, I did not buy the handwriting, and we may do that later, because for handwriting, we are doing handwriting without tears. This is great. This is what a lot of pre-K programs use. Um, my son is a lefty, so it took him a really Long time to get a hang of handwriting. We practiced so hard on it the past few years. He's finally getting the hang of it, but sometimes he still writes things, you know, from the bottom up and backwards. That just seems to be how lefties work a lot of times. Um, but he's getting the hang of it, and this is kind of a short program, so he's pretty much almost finished with it. 
Um, we just do like a page or two a day. Um, but he's getting through this book and I probably will order another handwriting supplement to help him because he does struggle with that. So for social studies and for science, I am using Abeka. These were some of the only options for kindergarten social studies and science. I do like it a lot. The science just barely touches on everything, seasons and weather um, and the body parts, that kind of thing. So this is a really short, simple book. And then social studies, it goes pretty far in depth. Some things um, go a little more in depth than I probably would, but I am really glad that like my son can name Christopher Columbus and where he's from and um, what they eat in Italy, that type of thing. He knows that because we use Abeka Social Studies and it is so in depth. I'm not saying we won't switch maybe next year to um, like master books or something like that because I've heard good things about it. But for right now, for kindergarten, Abeka is what we're doing. And we only do social studies and science every other day, alternating, because these are smaller books and it wouldn't really get us through the entire um, year if we did a lesson every day in it. And that's honestly what public schools do anyway. They fit in their social studies and science whenever they can. And then we also, um, oh, I will say The Good and the Beautiful has these little mini books that are great. We also use Bob books for reading, and we've used some of the McGuffey primer to help in reading. That one is a little bit, um, it looks more old school. My son's not quite as into it with the bright pictures or anything, but we love the Bob books, and he is reading really well right now. So I am really thrilled with all of our curriculum. I hope that got, that gives you guys um, a little insight into your choices. You do not have to use one whole all-inclusive program. You can pick and choose what you think is best for your child, and I hope that you guys will do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.